I'm fashion designer Ruby Bandari, and this is Design Your Life. Each episode, we're stitching a happier, more satisfying life for you with insider tips from industry experts. The fashion and lifestyle industry isn't just fabric and thread. Together, we'll learn about setting real goals and growing your look, your soul, and your attitude to make your dreams a reality. Come with me to design your life. Hello, everyone. It's Ruby Bandari, and I'm here to design your life. So, you know, this week has been a very exciting week. I'm leaving for Florida for Miami Fashion Week, and we have uh, Silk Threads, Varun Bell, and Charu Parashar, and Selection Amonga, all from India, coming this time to educate Miami on Indian fashion. So, very excited, and next at the next show, I'll have some pictures and some footage for you of how it went. And then, as soon as I come back, we have Charu Parashar coming back to Dallas, if you remember, about five weeks ago, we had Charu here on the show, and she was super amazing, and she is coming back for Fashion, for fashion Week at, in Miami. So I told her, might as well come to Dallas, because everyone loves you here. So you guys, Charu is going to be here from Wednesday to Saturday next week. So if you want to meet her up close and personal, you want to see her, you want to take pictures with her, give us a call at Silk Threads. So today, um, I have a very special guest. Someone who is uh, very inspirational here in the Dallas community, and maybe even in the United States, I'd have to say. I'd have to say you've reached the United States. It's Victor Abraham, a very, very good friend of mine, and a very, very successful entrepreneur, um, and very diverse in all the things you've done. Victor, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. It's a real privilege, uh, Ruby. Uh, I think you're really kind and generous with your words. I'm humbled this uh, evening to be here, but at the same time, it's a privilege to be on your show, Ruby. Well, I think our That's audience it. is going to be so excited just to know about all the things that you're doing because, you know, I would have to say on social media, you're just um, a very beautiful, good-looking man uh -oh. um, with the most amazing smile, uh -oh. and you just, <laughs> I mean, we just see you're you just, very tall <laughs> <laughs> we just see you all over the place, and you know, I just want people to know really the substance of Victor Abraham and what you do. So, I mean, you have been a pioneer in Texas for the South Asian market, and now the mainstream market um, for the travel scene. Sure. So, I mean, tell us what made you want to be in this business and how did you start? Wow. That's a lot of questions in one go, Ruby. <laughs> but, uh, well, I started and I always say I do a little bit of everything and a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> but, <laughs> I've heard you say that before. <laughs> but I try and do it well by the grace of God and that's my journey as I look back at how this journey has been. Um, it's been amazing, that's all I can say. I mean, I watched my father, I mean, I'm talking about in the, in the mid-80s, mm -hmm. watched him do travel from a little small office back in Mumbai. Oh, and okay. that's what really encouraged me, inspired me. I've always seen him to tell people to get out of town, you know, go have fun and enjoy. And that's what got into me to, to try and, you know, do the same thing, but in a much more extensive manner. And I think we've been here, and we've been blessed doing that. So as a child, did you get an opportunity to travel since your father was a travel agent? I did. I did quite a bit. But, uh, you know, time evolved and um, got to travel much more uh, lately, actually, after I got married. Let me put it that way. Ah, to your beautiful wife. Yeah. Well, well you know, Victor, you're like, um, I don't know, you're, I, you're definitely a not a Dallasite these yeah, days. Yeah, she is definitely beautiful and successful. That's why I tell Behind every successful woman is a confused man, and that is me, you <laughs> see, so. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so I'm looking at my handy-dandy notes because yeah. I have so many questions for you. Sure. So, you know, let's start with your most interesting travel experience. Several interesting travel has taken place for me in my uh, travel um, life, let me put it that way. But the most interesting travel that really put me into action is when I had the privilege of flying with a, a celebrity's wife uh, uh, two decades ago. Wow. Um, and being able to sit side by side and being sharing, being able to share my life story with her. And fortunately, um, you know, it turned out to be an event where I had to pitch in to help her to transit in one particular city. And the next 
When we got back, the celebrity himself calls me and says, Victor, why don't you come to play tennis with me? Oh, wow. And it was none other than Vijay Amritraj, who really wow. opened doors for me in very many areas of life, many, uh, you know, where I could really meet people and uh, meet celebrities all across the world. And, you know, one thing led to the other, and here I am. That is amazing. I, I have always wondered, like really wondered, how did Victor do this? And you know, you were blessed to be in the right place at the right time. And you had such an amazing personality that you just took him in. I don't know about that, but you know, I always say uh, time decides who you meet in life. The heart decides who you want in life and the attitude decides who stays in your life. And that's the most important thing. See, the difference between a good day and a bad day is the attitude you have towards that day. And if you have the right attitude, believe me, Ruby, you can go places. And that is what travel is all about, let me put it that way. I think that um, that's gonna be the lesson of the of today. Can you just repeat that for oh, us, yeah. please? <laughs> I just love that. And I'm well, gonna make that my new motto. Absolutely, you should. You're I gonna mean, see that painted in the studio very soon. In life, uh -huh. time decides who you meet. The heart decides who you want and the attitude decides who stays. And basically the difference between um, a good day and a bad day is the attitude you have towards that day. So if you have the right attitude, wow. believe me, life is beautiful and everything else will fall in place. Give so, me five. Hey, you got it. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. Yeah. That's so, amazing. Yeah. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I think that everybody should live by that. And yeah. Hopefully they can be as, success, as successful as well, you. Yeah, that's another thing. That's my latest mantra, Ruby, is one day at a time. That's what I tell people. You know, all we can do is live yeah. life one day at a time, one step at a time, one breath at a time. And as long as you have that in mind, knowing, you know, I mean, we don't know what tomorrow holds for us, but as you live your life today, make the best of you. It. And it doesn't matter whether you travel, whether you are with friends, whether you're with family, Make the best of it, enjoy it, and uh, life will automatically fall in place. I absolutely <laughs> believe that. I absolutely believe that. I guess I live my life like that, but I never really thought about it. I mean, I was never able to put it into words. So I really do um, appreciate that, and I'm going to write that down as soon as we're done with the show. Sure. So, <laughs> so now, you know, you and I have been in the business for yeah. over 25 years. Yeah. Um, we both started in the early, early 90s, yeah. and, you know, we've both blossomed, but we have seen so much change. I want to see from your side, what have you seen in the last 25 years? How has technology impacted the travel business? How has that changed the role of a travel agency like SkyPass Travel? Yeah, yeah. Um, and what are the limitations and obstacles um, that you have frequently faced till now? I mean, I'm sure the, these things have changed yeah. over time. I've asked you a lot of things, but you know, in a nutshell, as much as you can explain because I really want Ab people to know. Absolutely. I mean, you know, time has evolved. I mean, guess when the travel industry really got hit. When 9-11 hit all of us, mm -hmm. the first industry that got hit was the travel industry. Absolutely, because people that. just weren't traveling. That's right. Yes. And with, with the fear of traveling with the fear of so much security uh -huh. I mean still folks are apprehensive to really go out and travel but we have evolved around that and I mean you know b believe me Ruby hundreds of agencies shut down during that time but we had a swim upstream and we were able to still hang on to travel and what we were able to do and to be able to serve uh, travel and and its folks was amazing yes uh, you know, technology facilitated uh, efficiency and we use it as an ally. You know, our goal was to let high tech define our efficiency and high touch, touch. I like that. Yeah, demonstrate uh, basically our excellence, you know. So being online allows you to feel in control but want to ensure that you feel in control even when you're stuck in line. And that's where we come in, the, you know, the brick and mortar agency where we can go all out. I mean, if it's the middle of the night, you're stuck somewhere in an yes. airport, you're able to pick up the phone yes. and you can give us a call and we are there to take care of you. And that is what the travel is all about. And yes. that is what SkyPass is all about. I mean, even our, um, our um, uh, logo says that your passage is our priority. And that is our number one priority to make sure that you have a wonderful travel wherever in whichever area of the world you are in. Oh no, absolutely. Um, and you know, I just feel like um, for us, we're, 
very parallel in that. I mean, yeah. for us, 9-11 happened and um, Silk Threads actually flourished yes. because people could not travel. Yeah. But, you know, as time goes on, you know, technology and um, the fact that our business is non-barrier entry, yeah. Yeah. things kept changing. Yeah. And as people traveled more, mm -hmm. people were coming in more with um, our sort of, sort of clothing mm -hmm. and it was sort of, the market was becoming very tough. But yeah. it's that service, it's yeah. the service that Silk Threads actually, it's the same sort of thing. People are always looking for service. That will never change. Exactly, and I think you, you, you make people look so beautiful and you know, I mean, I always say intent is prior to content. If the intention is right, the content will show. And when you add with your designing and, 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 the, and, and the clothing that you bring to a body, of course, uplifts that person and brings uh, the life in that person. Well, so you're thank doing you a great so job much. in what you're doing, Ruby. Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, a recent example yeah. um, that I want to tell all the audience about is um, my husband Raj had to travel last minute. I don't know how, what, where, but I wanted him to come to India. And Victor literally got the ticket in minutes, yeah. in minutes. Yeah. He just told Raj, go to Chicago, and when you get there, your ticket will be there. Yeah. And I have never seen anything like that. Um, when you're calling airlines, of course, you know, we call airlines, we're getting tickets, we're doing this. But that service was, yeah. you literally made my week. Yeah. And I will never forget that. Thank you, Ruby. And that is what we are there for, basically, to ensure that you know that should be the least of your worries especially when you travel the tickets or you know anything that comes in the way we want to make sure that you have a smooth passage all across and that is what our priority is all about amazing well absolutely yeah, amazing yeah, and yeah. i've never yeah. i've never had this experience before where i was so desperate and you just like came through like fire yeah. and i think that is the brick and mortar yeah. thing that people still require we think that you know amazon is there and everything's on the internet you know what no it's not yeah those feelings and, and when we're stuck and when we're in trouble, yeah. you know, the internet can't help us yeah. unless you Google, I mean. Absolutely, and that's, that's, what, so I, that's what I meant, you know, being yeah. online, you're sometimes in line, you see? So, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we come in and we, we, you know, we take that load off your shoulders and we are there 24 seven to make sure. I mean, in fact, I fall behind a good team that holds me back. You and, do, you have a great yeah. team, because so you're yeah. always out and traveling. Absolutely, and, yeah. You know, now yeah. you have expanded um, into the cruise business, I know. Yeah. Um, do you get, get a lot of South Asian clients, or is it mostly mainstream? We get a both of, uh, both uh, clientele, basically, because we have tied up with Expedia Cruise Ship Center, oh, which okay. has the buying power to really buy cruises all across the world mm -hmm. at very great prices, and uh, we are able to block uh, group spaces as well as uh, you know, even when reservations are not available, we are able to open it. Mm -hmm. And it's only because we are tied up with such a big uh, company like uh, Expedia. So that gives us the, the buying power and the selling power to really do much more and be able to cater to the cruise business. So okay. yes, so we are blessed that way. That's great to know yeah, because yeah. we are actually um, planning a big group cruise and we're just, we'll just yeah. call you because I know you'll handle the there whole thing. There you go. Sky Pass is it, uh, Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another expansion yeah. is um, the entertainment business. Yeah. So um, from arranging concerts like A.R. Rahman, which was huge, to now producing a film, how did you start that? Wow. Yeah, it's, it's one thing that led to the other. Like I said, when 9-11 hit, I was looking at diversifying a little bit mm -hmm. and then, of course, f came into my plate um, the whole complete tour of A.R. Rahman when he wanted to tour the U.S. and the whole world and we were able to handle his travel uh, at that time for the whole group of close to 200 people. It's amazing. Yeah, so when that came across, I was asked by Mr. Rahman itself to see if I can host a show in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And that's how we decided to go ahead and host the show and promote the show for uh, Jai Ho. Mm -hmm. It happened in 2010 with a record crowd of close to 14,000 folks at the American wow. Airlines Center, I'm sure you remember that. It was one of a kind. And you know, bringing both the East and the West together, we were able to really put on a very good show. And that took us to a different level. And one thing led to the other. And then that's how we you know, got into the movie uh, business, basically, because we wanted to do something that would connect the head and the heart. And we want to do something that would be meaningful out there. Well, you and definitely uh, chose the correct yeah, um, yeah. entertainer. Yeah. So you know what? I just saw on the screen, and if we can have it again, 
the pictures from your movie launch. Can we see those pictures again? There we go. Yes. So that's your beautiful family. Yes. That and is. yes, and um, I mean, amazing. Talk to us about the launch. Tell us about your movie. Tell us the name of your movie. What is it about? And how did you get into this? And who are these? All these people. Well, these. I mean, we have uh, actors from both East and the West. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Stephen Baldwin. We have uh, Sharman Joshi from. Uh, uh, from uh, of course from from India mm -hmm. and then we have Shari Rigby from here from Hollywood mm -hmm. and basically we brought them together under one screen and this movie took us a little time but was spanned over five continents bringing them together on one screen it's called the least of these it's about a, a story of a, a missionary who mm -hmm. came from Australia leaving the comforts of Australia to come connect with the people of India mm -hmm. and go to a remote place in Orissa where you know he was serving the destitute, uh -huh. the much needy and am among all the lepers. And there was a group of radical folks uh, one evening uh, got around his jeep and burnt him and his two boys alive. Okay. It's wow. horrific in its nature, yes. but when he came to love and when he came to give uh, hope to this real desperate people, uh, you know, this is what the people reacted and did uh, to him and his two boys. But the next day, Ruby, his wife, Gladys Staines, forgave the perpetrators. See, forgiveness is a trait that is not easily, you know, it's so difficult to forgive it each is. other. It we is. harbor so much bitterness in our heart that we, you know, we hold grudges. And maybe it's a friend or a family or, you know, you name it. It's difficult to forgive. And this is something we wanted to showcase it to the whole world that forgiveness is an aspect that we all can it comes from the heart it doesn't have religion it doesn't have a language and it is it stems right from the heart well so that's a very so strong message yeah so and i would love for everyone to see this movie now i know that you were playing in dallas i know that you went to singapore yeah we and went you launched it there we went australia and new uh -huh. zealand okay. and then uh, we did it in africa also wow. singapore is coming out next month okay Singapore's we had its run in the u.s already so mm -hmm. now it's available on dvd if you want to get a oh. copy the least of these you can go to any walmart or go to amazon and pick up a DVD on the least of these. You'll be able to watch it in your homes. Uh, you know, in, in that your, is, I, I'm, I'm going to yeah. be the first one to go and get it because yeah. I want my children to see this. Yeah. Because, you know, in the world today, forgiveness is, yeah. it's so tough. It is, Ruby, and that is what this, the missive is all about, uh, this movie. It's the story of love, hope, and forgiveness, basically. And that is something not, you know, very easy for us to uh, do, but at the same time, you need to have a heart to do it. And that is what Gladys Staines did when she was able to forgive the perpetrators. And that really shook the whole nation. And I mean, this, this story will come alive when you watch it. And it's, a, it's, a, it's an emotional roller coaster, but it's, 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 it's a very powerful uh, movie. Uh, I would encourage uh, everyone uh, who's hearing this to go watch it. So tell me what language is it in? It's right now in English. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and we're going to be getting it out in five other regional languages also, uh -huh. including Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam, Telugu, oh, and wow. Venori. Yeah. So basically so covers the whole yes, country. Yes, it does. It covers does. everybody. It does. Because I think it, every, uh, you know, especially since it happened back in India, everyone in India needs to watch this and, uh, and be touched and be moved by, by the message that is in there. So it will. So now that you've produced this movie, yeah. I mean, do you think you'll ever do this again? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I may do another one. Never, never say never again. <laughs> Because I know you totally <coughs> disappeared. Like, you just fell off the earth while you did this movie. Yes. It um, took, like I said, it took us five years. And it, it took a lot of, in the production, like I said, it was spanned over five continents because I did not compromise in making this movie. We, we got the best talents, mm -hmm. right, from, say, from the U.S. to India. Uh, the director, we have the, the music uh, director out of South Africa. Mm -hmm. And we also had the orchestra that was played uh, in Budapest, you know. So so we brought all these together under and, and the screenwriters from Australia. So we brought all the five continents on one screen. That and is was amazing. able to showcase it accordingly. Well, you so. know, my big reason for asking you is because I'd be honored to do the costumes. In okay. your next movie. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and just no, you, do, you do a fantastic job in your costume. Thank you, you. We Thank love you. it. I know Shirley, my wife, she always uh, raves about it. So you, you're doing something right, <laughs> Ruby, and I and I am sure uh, people are enjoying and and showing off your costumes. So definitely, 
you, you will be in line for that. So next movie, <laughs> next movie. Okay, let's move on to our next question, which I have to read. Um, what is the impact on your prime business, and how has your focus shifted onto other fields, or has it just broadened it up? Um, I know you're doing the movie. Are you going to do any more concerts or any more other sort of things that are, um, or are you sort of, have you, has your, is your bucket list finished? Well, you know, it's the hospitality. I also own and operate a hot hotel in right close by Love Field. Okay. 102 rooms. So, you know, that has broadened us. And But we try to ensure that the main thing that we do is travel, sustains. I mean, it sustains it and uh, it complements it, it, it complements uh, everything that we do. Uh, the movie has opened our eyes to the need for feel-good stories and moral narratives to in a world that is desperate for good news. You know, like <coughs> we have the real news over here. So, <coughs> so that is what, you know, uh, definitely I'll, I'll, uh, I want to take a look at doing another movie, mm -hmm. if God willing, uh, that would make a difference uh, in people's lives. Wow, and, 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 that's know, excellent. So, so that I love it, I love yeah, it. Yeah. And now, you know, it's a busy summer travel time, yeah. and you are like the travel expert of the United States, as far as I'm concerned. Correct. So, you know, what advice do you have? I know, I just, I have to tell you, mm. I traveled um, randomly on mm. Kuwait Airlines. Okay. I don't know, do they have Not any new aircraft? I don't know what, but it was surprisingly good. I was oh, it like, was good, okay. Well, I mean, they didn't have grays. They had baby blue blankets. I was okay. like, wow, okay, they have a color. Okay. They had a really nice little pack. Okay. So, I mean, do you, do you do this for your customers? Do you, I mean, do you have a favorite airline? Do you... Is there, I mean, I definitely recommend recommends? airlines, but you know, what I tell them is be prepared, be flexible, be patient. Don't make uh, the difficulties of what will divert you to be the reason you remember the trip. You know, travel is about departing and arriving. Yeah. You, you divide your frustrations, you add your joy, you subtract the delay, and multiply your memories because you need to build memories even as you travel, you know. I uh, say uh, life and travel is not measured by the breaths you take, but by the moments that take your breath away. And that is what you should remember. I mean, you know, those are the joys of travel. And not a lot the ETPTs or the delays, or, you know, let not that frustrate you, but enjoy travel and make the best of it uh, when you travel. Yeah, basically, because you got to go to point A to B yeah, to get to exactly. where you're going, yeah. right? And sometimes it's nothing, it, it cannot be under your control, you yes. see? I mean, um, you know, it could be the weather. I mean, I also say, like, worry is a conversation you have with uh, yourself about things you cannot change, correct? Absolutely. But a prayer and asking for it is a conversation you have with God about things that he's in control of. It could be the weather, but at the same time, take it one step at a time and make I the best of it. I guess if the it. weather's <laughs> bad and you're stuck, make a friend next, next Th to you. There right? you go. There you go. So everything is there for networking, a reason. And for networking. Always networking. Yeah, there you go, Ruby. So absolutely. So that's what I would encourage. And, you know, like I said, be patient, be flexible, and uh, just go for it. That's about it. Yeah, be prepared. So last thing we want to talk about. Okay. Um, let's talk about um, community, things that you have done, things that you were doing currently and kind of um, what's ongoing for 2019 and 2020. Um, I know you do a lot of community service. I know whenever anybody even hears your name, they say, oh, wow, Victor, he's like, uh -oh. he does so much for the community. So can, can you tell us sort of kind of what you've done, what you're doing, and kind of well, what your goals are? I don't know. Um, you know, our SkyPass Foundation will hopefully address that. You know, the good book says that let others articulate your good deeds and you be silent in doing them. You see? So I, you know, there is, a, I always say, it does not take light away from your candle to light another candle. And that's what it's all about because. It's so true. Yeah. And if we can continue to do that, and, you know, I mean, that's what I do, even we practice some of those principles even in our own business. You know, you become successful by helping others to be successful. And if we can have that attitude in our life, believe me, life will be good. You'll go to sleep peacefully at night. So, you know, I feel so <laughs> good hearing that. And, you know, I just want to thank you because you have always supported Silk Threads. And, you know, we have always watched over each other. And you're just 
I mean, I wish I could be like you. Hey, Ruby, <laughs> you're <laughs> better I, than me, my friend. So, uh, <laughs> I really God. appreciate yeah, all the things you. that you do for thank the community, you. for Silk Threads, yeah. for Raj and I. Yeah. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. And is there anything that you would like to tell the audience that I kind of forgot? Thank you. It's been an honor. Uh, hey, you have the best here. If you ever <laughs> want to get your attire, <laughs> go to Silk Threads, <laughs> Ruby Bandari, and believe me, she'll either make you look beautiful or beautiful again. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Thank for the you so much. Thank you for that great sort of a closure. I love that. Yeah. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Sky Pass Travel, um, we will have information on our page as well as I believe we have a flyer that we can put on. Um, oh, okay, we don't have it, but that's all right. Mm. I will have all the information on Silk Threads by Ruby Bandari. And um, anytime, if you can't get a hold of Victor, I have his phone number oh, personally. Wow. <laughs> now so, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> if no. you ever need anything on travel or fashion, we yeah. are here for you. Okay. Um, we really appreciate you guys look, listening, and I hope that today we were able to design your life. Thanks for watching Design Your Life. If this episode sparked an idea or a question, I'd love to hear it. Send me a message to my Facebook page, Silk Threads by Ruby Bandari, or you can email me at info at silkthreads.com. You may be featured on an upcoming episode.